Logic Pro for iPad 2 has a heap of sound packs in the sound library, but what if you don't want them all and you want to delete some, or maybe you want to make sure that you've got all of them installed? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how. Let's go. To manage your sound packs, when you open a new project here in Logic Pro, before you go into tracks or loops mode, jump down here to the featured sound packs. Now, you can just choose one of these featured ones, tap on it, and then if you've got it installed, you can hit delete and then delete again, and that's going to get rid of that pack. Don't worry, you can always re-download it later. If there's a pack here that doesn't say installed under it, like Ultimate 808s, and I want this one back, I tap it and I hit the get button, and that's going to download that pack and and once that download is done, those sound files will be installed, ready to be used in my projects. However, you'll quickly notice that this isn't all the sound packs. This is only the featured sound packs. So to get to all of them, we tap over here on this, the see all button. And now, yes, you've got every sound pack available split into different sections. At the top, Apple have selected three highlighted packs that you may want to check out. And you can tap on those and then install them or preview them if you would like to. You've then got your sound packs these are the regular sound packs and by scrolling to the right and then back to the left you can see all of them there you've got your artist and producer packs here that you can access and then if you scroll further down you've got your instrument packs you've got your session player instruments and loops down the bottom here for all five different session player types and finally you've got your essential and compatibility packs to make sure that you've got compatibility with GarageBand and also Logic Pro for Mac and again you can use the interface here to tap on any one of these to delete it or to install it if you don't have it. But the easiest way to do this by far is to go to manage packs here in the top left. So let's tap on manage packs and we get this view. This view is super handy because it will tell you all of the installed packs you have. And you can see I've got 30.09 gigabytes of installed packs and it says all available packs. So if you're the sort of person that has enough space on your device and you just want everything to make sure it's all compatible, all you need to do is go straight into manage packs, hit get all, and then go continue and that will install every single pack that you don't already have installed. This is also a great place to remove any that maybe you don't want. So if you're scrolling down through these and you come across a particular pack that you don't want, let's say you never play the bass guitar, to delete this all you need to do is swipe to the left and then over here there'll be the delete button. Tap on that one, tap on delete and that will remove that pack. To get it back again, you guessed it, just hit the get button and it will automatically start downloading. And you can even sort the list because it's growing all the time. So if you hit the sort button in the top left here, you can sort by the ones you've got installed by the name or by the featured pack. So if you just want to see the ones you have installed, I've got them all. But if you don't, it'll put your installed packs in one section and then all your uninstalled packs in another section. And if you want to delete multiple packs without having to tap individually each time, if you hit the edit button here in the top right corner, you can quickly just jump through here, tap on the delete button, tap delete and delete again, and then just go through and tap all of the ones that you don't want, uh, remembering that you can always bring these back in the future if you change your mind. One final tip, how do we use the sounds that are in these sound packs? Well, there's a simple way to do that. Let's hit the done button in the top right corner, open a new project here in tracks view. We'll just add an audio track just to get started. Now in the bottom left here is our browser. If we tap on that one and go back, we can jump into loops. And if we want to filter these to just loops and samples from a single sound pack, we tap in the top right corner on the filter button. Now it's slightly hidden here, but if we scroll upwards or downwards, depending which way you like to think, we have this, all those different sound packs. And if you scroll from left to right, you can see that we can select one of these different packs. Let's say we want the watch the sound pack. We tap on that one and it will filter all of the sounds down to just that pack. We can now tap off and to preview one of these sounds, we can hit the preview button. And we can bring these sounds into our project by simply tapping and dragging and dropping onto a track, importing those, and we're good to go. And thanks to cool new features in Logic Pro like the chords track and the session players, you can create some pretty cool and custom sounds using the sounds in these sound packs. And of course, if you'd like to learn a whole heap more about creating, recording and releasing your best music in Logic Pro for iPad, check out the rest of the video tutorials in the description. I'll see you next time.